to create an email super admin so that you have full access of the account but not get charged for it here's how to do it so you go to billing subscriptions go to add or upgrade a subscription cloud identity get started it's free so just go through the checkout process and what this meant this means is that the Google workspace will automatically be added onto any user that you add so of course since we don't want to add all users to be a Google workspace users we just want some of them for admin purposes you go to review license settings so that it doesn't automatically add that license to that user and I tried it to where you turn it off you go at the user then you can come back and turn it on it will apply it to all users before and after creating them so you turn that off then you go to users and it's just it's just me right now so let's say I have another user you add their name and secondary email phone number that's um, optional so I would add that and then to enable this user to make it let's say uh, you have access to a lot of different Google workspace accounts and you don't want to keep bothering people with 2FA codes or passwords or anything like that this is what you would do so give it a few minutes to be added in there then you click on the name you will get this I would definitely recommend adding a secondary email address and a phone number as well as a recovery email and a recovery phone this is an example so I'm not gonna do that but uh, in here you would see that the Google workspace is not assigned and that we only have the Google identity free so then what you do is you go to admin roles and privileges make sure to give it the super admin the super admin will not always be the first option sometimes it will be down here for whatever reason so just be careful with that then you enable that save and let me I'm going to reset the password just I'm honestly going to delete this user after this so go and then okay so that is done so let me show you how I would log in so I'll go to the admin console. It's a private window, so I have to sign in. And I believe it was just John. Phone number. Um, yeah, see, this is why you want to add a... phone number so now I'll just go ahead and check that code but I seen it where if you add a secondary email address and a secondary phone then you wouldn't need to do this but either way now you see I have full admin access I can go ahead and manage users and if you go to your subscriptions you see that you are only getting charged for one account